Now that we've talked about all the features on the S9X, let's put it into practice and roast a batch. I already have four kilos loaded here. I have all my settings ready. Let's jump in and roast some coffee. The coffee's gonna load first, and it will be a few seconds before you actually get to adjust any settings as it's loading. Now that it's loaded, I have control over all my settings. I like to start with a lot of heat right at the beginning of the roast. So my hot air, my halogen settings are quite high. My drum heater is around four. And for my bean agitation, I don't use a ton of agitation. I'm just at four as well. For this beginning of the roast, the Stronghold does a great job of getting even drying of the coffee. So I never have to worry about any tipping or scorching in the early parts of the roast. You can see at this point, we already have an RR readout of our bean surface RR. And in a few moments, we'll also have the RR readout from the bean probe. Any settings that I want to adjust now too, I can go in here and add profile name, how much I've used, or the green bean name, just in case you've forgotten. We'll also have the ability to do this at the end of the roast. If I had already done a roast and I need to empty the cooling tray, that button is right up here. I'm gonna start watching the roast to see how the coffee is drying. Once it hits yellow, I'll start to slow down the roast a little bit, start to take a bit of heat out. But for now, it's just a lot of heat to make sure we have a lot of energy at first crack to get the most flavor possible. It's good to check with the trier every so often to see what color stage you're at. We're still green, means that there's still moisture in that coffee. I'm gonna wait for it to yellow. That means that we're out of the drying phase and starting to move more into Maillard and caramelization. For your first batches, it's always good to start with a declining rate of rise on your bean service ROR. This is not a rule, but it's a good way to start because it ensures that at the end of the roast, when the coffee's at its most delicate, you won't scorch or burn it. I can see through the sight window that chaff is starting to leave. This means that the coffee is expanding and that slit in the middle of the coffee is starting to open up, releasing chaff. I'm gonna move my drum heater down just a little bit. I want a slowly declining drum heater temperature. This is gonna ensure that that conductive heat is just used to keep the coffee moving along, but is not adding too much heat to the roast. The coffee's at yellow now, so I'm going to start to step down my halogen. If I want to make larger moves in halogen, I can both press the different arrows up and down. I can also click on the number. This allows me to choose the number specifically for larger moves. The coffee now is at a light brown. This means we're in the caramelization and mired phase. This is where we're gonna start developing flavors in the coffee. My drum heater temperature is increasing again, so I'm just gonna move it down another couple steps. I'm gonna make my first move on my hot air. We're gonna get down to 7.5. This is just to slow the roast down just a little bit coming in the first crack so we don't have too much energy. I'm also gonna step down the halogen again. This time going from six to four. The coffee is light brown now. At this point, I'm gonna turn halogen off. This is because I'm just ensuring that I have not too much halogen at first crack because this is the first time I roasted this coffee. It's better to have lots of energy coming from your convection and conduction and less energy coming from your halogen until you really understand the coffee. We're at first crack now, so I'm gonna mark it just by pressing that button. And this is gonna to start to record the DTR of the roast. At this point, I'm gonna be very careful to make sure that my RRR is not moving up too high or too low, that it has a slow, steady decline. I'm listening to first crack to make sure that it has a fairly consistent amount of pops, but not too much. That can be an indication that you have too much energy. If the pops are really far apart, 
it means that you probably do not have enough. We're going to start to step down the hot air to prevent the roast from running away and to get that steady decline in rates. Really nice healthy first crack that you can hear right now. This is a Kenyan coffee. I'm going to keep it light and bright so it's juicy and sweet. So we're going to drop it just a little bit over one minute, about a minute 15 to a minute 20 of development time. You can see it's coming up in rates a little bit. I'll push that hot air down a little bit and we're going to release the coffee right there. It's going to drop out, put it into a cooling cycle. You can hear a couple cracks still happening in the tray. This is just where I want it for a filter coffee. It's going to keep the door open for a little bit to make sure all the coffee is exited. And then afterwards, it's going to give you some options on this screen right here.